guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. I'm here at my home in Rochester. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1954, Roger Bannister became the first person to run a mile in under four minutes. Bannister had eaten a light lunch of ham salad, which he said helped him to the finish line. Alexa, celebrity birthdays. Today's famous birthdays include American actor, filmmaker, and activist George Clooney, former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom Tony Blair, American professional basketball player Chris Paul, American actress Adrienne Polipsky, and British actress, singer, musician, Dancer Naomi Scott. Uh, happy birthday to George Clooney. Alexa, how old is George Clooney? George Clooney is 62 years old. George Clooney is 62, one of my favourite actors. And doesn't he look good for his age? Right, Alexa, what's the time? It's 11.40am. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Saturday the 6th of May. Alexa, what's the weather like in Rochester? In Rochester, England, it's 14 degrees Celsius with showers. Today's forecast calls for more of the same, with a high of 15 degrees and a low of 11 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Why do ghosts love elevators? It lifts their spirits. Right, let's not forget it's the coronation of King Charles III and Queen Camilla. Um, we all thought she was going to be Queen Consort Camilla, but she's actually been crowned Queen. I myself personally believe that the Queen of England deserved to be crowned Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, because um, she was a true Queen and she reigned for many years. Um, Camilla is a divorcee and it's never been heard of before that a woman of her, of what's happened in her past has ever been crown queen. A lot of the country doesn't agree with Camilla being crown queen. Um, I'm just staying out of the picture, I'm getting on with my life. For me it's not a particularly special day um, but I'm impartial so I'm just going to stay out of it. For me, today is any other day. Down Corrie's Road, there's hardly any flags or any celebratory decorations. There's one or two flags, but not very many. Um, most people are going about their daily business as if it was any other day and nothing really special. When Queen Elizabeth was crowned, it was magnificent. It was a great big thing. The country is so divided now with about the royals and where all the money's going people are poor people are hungry people are losing their homes people are dying and people are divided across great britain especially amongst the young people they're not they, they, you know people don't think we actually need royalty anymore i like i said i'm impartial i'm getting on with the rest of my day uh, the weather's quite bad it's spotting with rain and i don't think it's very nice to sit on the grass and have a picnic in this weather so i'm staying indoors and i you know i've got my king charles the third cup i bought off of amazon i'm going to have a cup of coffee out of that and i wish them both well because i don't hold grudges personally myself i just get on with my life so Good luck to both of them, but they will not beat Queen Elizabeth II's reign. Last night was horrible for me. I got back home from my mum's. My mum had said a few things to me that had upset me, and I was feeling a bit shaky, a bit ropey, a bit wary of going outside. But I pushed myself outside, taking Max out for a walk last night. I have my pink denim coat on, which I think looks nice, um, and a pair of jeans. 
and I wasn't wearing anything different than I was wearing in the morning. In the morning I'd had a lovely time talking to somebody, in the afternoon it was an, I was with my mum and we was having a chat. Um, when my neighbour came home yesterday and I went outside after he'd come home, I walked up Corrie's road after throwing a bag of rubbish out and I was walking up towards the co-op when I heard a child go, Ugh! and it was that loud and three sets of dogs started barking. Three loads of dogs started barking and then a really skinny blonde woman started walking in front of me. So she was skinny and small with blonde hair. And my mum had said yesterday that she wasn't blonde. Jennifer did. So it fucks with your head. What my mother said to me fucked my head up. And I lost my temper. I got upset. I just went, stop bullying me out loud. I got fucked off and fed up. Anyone would. Dog barking continuously is a nuisance. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes a dog keep barking at them. I had three sets of dogs barking at me. Walked up towards the co-op. There was a young lad with a white curly haired dog sat on the stone step. And then I walked onto the field and there was this enormous brown dog with a very pretty foreign lady. And it wasn't particularly cold, but she had a bobble hat on, covered head to foot in coat and trousers. But she was extremely pretty, you know, younger than me and extremely pretty. And I said hello to her and then I walked past her and I walked across the field because I'm being friendly to people. I don't want to be stuck up. And, ignore people, walked across the field and I came back and I could hear dogs barking all down Corey's road. It was like a dog chorus. So you sometimes walk down the road. It's not just me, it happens to other people, men, women, kids, whatever. You have a dog chorus. So you walk down the road and people have got their dogs on the balconies and they're woofing as you're going into your flat. And I don't know if anybody else finds it annoying but I do. Some people look up and they laugh or they see where the dog barking is coming from but if you've had a bad day and you feel shitty it pisses you off doesn't it? Incessant dog barking. So I got, I got indoors, got into my flat and I just sat down, I relaxed, I played, uh, tried to play a game um, read a bit of the newspaper and I put on this DVD called Tyrannosaur and it upset me because it was really very true to life. It was about this guy who'd lost his wife uh, to diabetes and he called his wife a Tyrannosaur because she was a big woman, large woman that used to that rattle the stairs when she walked up the stairs so he called his wife a Tyrannosaur. Um, it was very, 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 it's a brilliant film, well written, the actors were absolutely brilliant, but it was very, very true to life and I had to switch it off in parts, especially where he battered a dog to death. Um, he battered a dog to death with a baseball bat, it was horrible. Very violent man, he got violent aggressive after losing his wife and addicted to drink. He meets this lady in a charity shop who's suffering domestic violence and eventually at the end her husband, um, he says, uh, you've been spreading your fanny about, you've been spreading your fanny about and he hit, beats her unconscious and rapes her. So he beats his wife unconscious and rapes her and she kills him. But she leaves him on the floor and he, he just decomposes and um, this guy who met this woman he discovers her husband's body and obviously she goes to prison for murdering her abusive husband and the last point of the film is is because they became friends he visits that lady in prison but um, I found it very true to life very upsetting I've experienced domestic violence myself 
and um, I've gone through more than that woman except that he raped her, her husband raped her and stuck glass up her and stopped her having children and that's how bad domestic violence can get. He put glass up her vagina and she couldn't have kids because of him so that is why she killed him. She had enough and she murdered her husband for abusing her and she spent she went to jail for it um, but I don't like animals being beaten to death so I turned it off in bits I don't like animal cruelty I can't I can't watch it um, I went to bed after that couldn't sleep very well I kept waking up and I got up later than usual this morning I've switched on the coronation on and off but um, I don't agree with pomp and ceremony when Great Britain is under poverty conditions. We're going through strikes, people are having ship pay, they're working for nothing. I don't agree with it, so I'm not watching it. I, don't, I, I mean, so they're king and they're queen, fair enough, but to be honest, it's pomp, it's ceremony, it's a waste of money while people are starving in Great Britain and are not able to feed their families. So I'm, I'm not avidly going mad about the coronation. I'm sorry, I'm not. Um, let me just see how much time I've got left. Uh, yeah, I've got enough. So I got up later, made myself coffee. I feel like shit. I'll, I'll be quite honest with you. I feel like miserable. Um, I'm trying to shake myself out of it. I decided to go out this morning with Max and I'm going to tell you what happened. So as I usually do, I throw some rubbish out into the bin. The builders are building, so the builders aren't having days off for Charles's coronation. They're building, they're banging still, they're banging here in Rochester at the top of Corey's Road. They were banging this morning, working. Um, it's hard for me to walk past people because um, I'm feeling bad about myself because of what happened last night. Every time I come back from my mum's after she's spoken a load of what she's spoken, I'm treated like crap and laughed at and it's not funny. So I walked onto the field past banging, drilling, and the, the guy with the white dog um, is actually called Charlie. He's called Charlie. Um, Max, the, the white dog came over to Max and I had a chat with Charlie. And Charlie, Char we had a nice chat, he's a nice bloke. And um, that his dog is soft and harmless. And we chatted for about 10 minutes. And he said he didn't wasn't really interested in the coronation. Um, he called, He said that well, she's not really a queen, is she, with her past history? Um, and um, he said that Camilla was in Rochester not long ago at the Guild Hill, at Guild Hall, reading stories to children. Camilla was in Rochester not that long ago. Um, but he, he, it, 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 it's the fact that Charles, yes, is king, but should Camilla be queen? That's, that's it, you see. People will accept probably Charles as king, but not Queen Camilla. She shouldn't have been crowned queen. Like I said, I'm impartial. I just let things happen. Um, if something's wrong, it's not going to go down well, is it? But he also said to me, did I know that Charles and Camilla had a love child in Australia? Um, I think I heard about it some while back and I said, well, do they look after their love child? And he said, well, I think they, um, they, they sort him out with money. But surely, if Charles and Camilla have got a love child, 
surely their child should be entitled um, to uh, to their riches, to their way of life, not be kept hidden. If Charles and Camilla have got a love child or more than one love child, shouldn't those children be looked after properly and not hidden away? Um, I, I don't know whether it's been proven that that guy is a love child of Camilla and Charles's, but if Charles and Camilla have got love children, then they should be looked after and have a life as, as rich as Charles and Camilla, shouldn't they? They shouldn't be hidden away and just given a couple of quid to like keep quiet. So I had a talk with Charlie. Charlie smokes, like my dad, roll ups. And I walked around the field and I came back home and I've had messages to my phone. Charlie's got no teeth. Charlie on the field's got no teeth, bless him, but he's a lovely bloke. He's got a wonderful personality, talks to everybody, and his dog interacts with the other, the other dogs. And he was talking to the blonde lady at number three the other day in these flats. He was talking to her on the field with her dog. My dog's tiny and I don't want him pounced on, so I've got to keep hold of it. So I came home and I found out that I've got two messages. I've got one from the dentist. So Charlie, bless him, has got no teeth. I came, came home to find that me, Crystal, has got an appointment with the dentist and, a, and something to do with the opticians. And uh, yesterday my mum said she hadn't been to the dentist for 17 years and she doesn't go to the opticians. And Charlie had his glasses. And Charlie said to me, and I'm very flattered by this, he said, I'm old enough to be your father, Charlie did. He said, I'm 62 and I'm old enough to be your dad. So I was very flattered by that, actually. I was actually really flattered by what he said there. Um, so basically, I'm not... To be honest, guys, I'm not really celebrating the, the coronation. The weather is appalling. I'm in Rochester. I, I haven't, like, paid 30 quid to travel up to London on the train and watch something that, you know, years ago would have been fantastic, but not in this day and age. People in Great Britain are struggling to feed families. We're struggling to carry on and we don't really want to see pomp and ceremony. People eating magnificent meals in front of us and celebrating. Um, a lot of us remember Princess Diana and what was done to Princess Diana. Princess Diana's memory will remain for a very long time. And a lot of people don't, still don't agree with what Camilla and Charles did to Diana. So I'm just getting on with the rest of my day. Like I said, I'm impartial. But I don't feel like celebrating at all. I just don't. I went up to the Sweets Festival. The weather was lovely. When the Sweets Festival was down Rochester High Street, the weather was gorgeous and the atmosphere was happy and people were enjoying themselves but today it's just like well you can take a look for yourself this is Corby's Road Rochester there's no bunting there's no there's nothing it's like like a normal day you've got one lot of flags at the top of that flat it's raining people people are working while the while the king's being crowned, people are working hard doing their jobs. Deliveries are still going on. The co-op's open up the top of the road. It's open. So while while the royals are celebrating, people are working hard. doing their jobs because this is a hard working country it is a hard people work hard for their pay so this
this is Rochester, the day of the coronation. This is the street. There's, there's nothing. Totally dead. <laughs> there's no street party down this road. <laughs> it's totally dead. That is not what you see on television. That is reality. Corey's Road is stone dead. No one's yelling. No one's screaming hooray. A lot of people are disagreeing with what is going on, but they're not having their say. We're just being told what to, to watch, what to do. So it's totally dead down this road. See you later.